After more than 10 years of analyzing Da Vinci's Mona Lisa using advanced technology, a French scientist says he has discovered a hidden portrait of a different woman underneath the existing layers of paint on one of Leonardo da Vinci's most celebrated artworks, if not the most celebrated artwork, the Mona Lisa, Jose. Uh, his name is Pascal Cote. Uh, he was given access to the painting back in 2004, and here's what he did. He used a technique which he invented called layer amplification method, L-A-M. Um, and what that means is basically he put it up on the wall and he shot very intense lights on it and then measured the bouncing back of these lights and through that he was able to see chronologically each layer behind uh, every layer of paint and I think this is so interesting and basically what he's saying is this could shatter many myths about this painting. Uh, let's go full screen on this because what this shows is behind him um, we see his version of what he believes is underneath. Now it seems pretty similar. There are some subtle differences, right? Uh, the one behind him. Uh, doesn't uh, does have eyebrows she isn't smiling she's not looking directly at you uh, like the Mona Lisa is she's looking off into the distance there is uh, a little bit of a difference with the shirt she's showing a lot more skin the hands are basically uh, the same so there's a lot of theories that are going back and forth here some experts say well no, uh, the Mona Lisa was just a commissioned painting. Uh, whoever commissioned it came in and said, well, this isn't how I envisioned it, do something different, and he just painted it over. Um, so there's other things that Pascal Cote him say, himself is saying, well, no, uh, this actually could mean that all the myths that we believe about the Mona Lisa aren't true. Actually, what he thinks is, uh, what happened was that basically Da Vinci was just started out with a portrait and then just didn't like it, did another one, did another one, did another one, and it just kind of came out the way it came out. What do you think, Jose? I think he discovered the ancient Photoshop and <laughs> the undo. Here's the thing. It's very interesting. I think it's amazing the technology that he's using to discover this. But for me, more important than trying to debunk any historical myths around the painting, for me, the access to the creative process of Da Vinci is the most important part. I think that the fact that we can see his creative process and see the step by step what he did to accomplish this masterpiece, I think that's where the story really lies because the historical nature, the historical truth of the painting does not take away any of the artistic value of it. Yeah. So I think that we should be more, interesting, more interested in finding out the, the, the creative process of a master than trying to figure out, oh, who I'm going to say that they, they have a wrong interpretation, historical interpretation of, of this painting. You know, this wasn't the first time that he's used LAM. He did it on another painting by Da Vinci called Lady with an Ermine. We have a photo of that as well. He didn't find any suspicious women underneath this woman, but he was, through that technique, able to find a safe way to do reconstruction on this painting to preserve it better. And I think that's also another important exactly. tool, uh, a, a, another way that this tool could be used uh, possibly in the future. So I think, you know, this painting's very old, Jose. It is. And, you know, I think by now, if we haven't figured out who she is, where she comes from, maybe we never will. So I think what's more important here is that, like, what, exactly what you said, uh, through this kind of technology, through these very intense lights, we can see Da Vinci's crazy creative madness and, and the way that he came to, to paint such a beautiful painting like the Mona Lisa that we all know today.